but, you know, I feel like we digress slightly. Who are we now? Now I'm now I'm bald. I do not have hair. <laughs> we I do if just, I let it grow. We're suburban dads now. <laughs> suburban dads. I got a bad back. My teeth are probably going. I cracked a tooth over the weekend, Steve. Oh, you hate to hear it. Yeah, I walked into a pipe. I walked into a low pipe. Oh, my God. I It had foam on it because I had previously walked into the same pipe. And it was much worse the last time I walked into it. This time it wasn't so bad, but I definitely clenched my jaw and broke a tooth. I finally, So go to the dentist soon. <laughs> I finally had to get a replacement for my front tooth that has been knocked out multiple times. They finally oh were goodness. like, it's done. We can only reattach a tooth so many times. I'm actually in a medical journal. I'm the first person they ever successfully did this specific thing to. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. Did they call it like the Steve tooth? No, no, they did not. I think my dentist took all the credit, as well he should, honestly. Yeah, no, that's fair. No, uh, that's he, totally fair. He told me one day, he was just like, it was years later, and he was like, I'm impressed. I just, I whipped that together real quick. I, I expected it to last like six months, maybe. And it had been like six, seven years at that point, and I was like, oh, oh, good. And that's how I found out it was in a medical journal. Oh, I should go to this dentist. No, you shouldn't. Oh, no, oh, you no. shouldn't. <laughs> he was really good at putting teeth back in, but I think that's the best thing I can say about him. So he's like a hockey dentist. Yeah, like, absolutely. He should get on the hockey circuit or something. He will make buck. But, <laughs> you know, otherwise, cannot recommend. But, you know, I feel like we digress slightly. And, like, whenever... Whenever I have friends, like whenever I have friends who are like going out and doing stuff, I'm like, oh, that sounds nice. Sure. I go do things. That's fine. I'm having a tea party. Yes. Yes. I'm trying to build things with mega blocks quicker than he can tear them apart. But it's impossible. It is. But go do what you're doing out there. That looks that looks fine. Oh, yeah. Everybody went on a social distant walk around the lake. Oh, that's good. I'm uh, I'm blowing uh, some bubbles over here. These bubbles are the coolest. Oh man, <laughs> I'm I'm I very my, excited. I love my daughter. I love I love my son. I'm very excited for COVID to lift so we can go places. Oh yeah, I got I'm half I'm halfway there, man. I'm halfway through my uh, my COVID shots. Congratulations and good luck. Uh, my wife gets Thank hers you. in two days, her first one in two days. So in by about Memorial Day, I think we will be fully vaccinated. And apparently um, they learned, I don't know if this is podcast worthy, I might end up cutting this. Breastfeeding mothers pass on the antibodies to their babies. Well, that's good. Yeah, that's so awesome. my son is at the tail end of breastfeeding, hopefully, but he's still breastfeeding. So theoretically, he's going to get the vaccination too, which is super nice. exciting. That's exciting. Yeah, my daughter's been, um, she's been asking, when are they going to have the shot for three-year-olds? And I'm like, well, probably not for a while, but you're not going to really need to worry about it. She's like excited to get the shot. I'm like, you know, I don't think you're going to get it. <laughs> it's not been invented yet. I know in Philadelphia they're doing children trials right now for Pfizer, I believe. Oh, for like how young? I'd have to check, but I know it's not like 13 to 16. You know what I mean? It's for like younger kids. I think it's I think oh, it's okay. from like I think it's from like 1 to 15. Oh, okay. So like, yeah, really young. Yeah. All right. We should come up with a sign-off so I can edit out the last 10 minutes and then put in a side-off. Good night, folks. Good night.